In order to make the chassis fit the new Jetta body instead of the regular Golf body, it needs to be extended a small amount. Now with the trans kit you get from Skill Production, there is also extensions for the chassis. This simply needs to be glued in place. The interior itself also needs a small modification in order to fit the new race seats. Now these are not the exact match to the movie seats, but I couldn't find them and I wasn't really prepared to scratch build them again as it didn't really turn out all that nicely in my personal opinion when I did it on the R34 last time. So I figured I'd just go with a nice looking race car seat that is close to the original but not exact and go with that. I also scuffed up the door panels a little bit as these need to be masked off multiple times and painted in different colors and in order to make sure the paint sticks and doesn't rip off with the masking tape, sanding really helps with that. The brake calipers also needed to be modified a lot and pretty much just cut off entirely and a new piece that comes with the trans kit needs to be glued on in place. With all of the airbrushing done, I could move on to quickly unmasking the door panels and moving on to additional details like some flocking for the carpet. For the chassis, I also decided to add a little bit of detail but not go overboard, just paint a couple of the parts of silver to give it a nice contrasting and a bit more realistic look, and also give them a bit of weathering not to stand out as much and look super clean. Once all of the paint was dry, this could be assembled. To finish off the interior, a couple of pieces were highlighted with a semi-gloss black contrasting to the matte black for all the other parts, and also some other parts here and there were painted and detailed 
and could then be assembled. Now I did find a lot of reference pictures online, but I'm not sure that these were the actual cars as there's much more replica cars out there than there are of course from the originals. So I just took a bit of a mismatch from what I found and what I've seen in the movie and went with that. I also added the seat belts to the front racing bucket seats. Of course, this was done with a scale production set for seatbelt buckles and also the seatbelt material itself. If you want to know more about this specific process, I do have a couple videos on my how to section on the channel, so feel free to check those out to go into a bit more depth. The center caps on the wheels also needed a bit more detail. Firstly, I painted them silver and then went with a clear red on top. And later on, I added the black center cap itself and have that finished off. And this one is for all of the guys that kept saying to not add the brake calipers. So now that you've stopped screaming at your screen, no, of course I'm not gonna add them. The exhaust was then also put in place and that pretty much finishes this one off. Now in the last video, someone luckily commented that I forgot to add the carbon fiber on the top section of the wing. Now I actually didn't know that it was there. I've seen it on some of the replica cars and thought that was a mistake. Though looking over some footage from the actual movie again, it does seem to be there only on the top section and not on the lower. So I quickly just added a bit of carbon fiber decals and that one sums this up. So I'm really happy with the way that this build came out. The trans kit from Scale Production is really easy to work with and assembles really nicely with a lot of the detailed parts included in it. Now I know that some of the details might not be exact to the movie, but as I said, there were many different cars used in the actual movie and there were even more replicas out there. So that's making it harder to find some of the reference material. And I figured I'd just go with a nice medium from what I've seen in the movie and match that as best as I possibly can. I hope you enjoyed the series and I will see you on the next one.